The Tennessee Hospital Association and the Tennessee Office of Rural Health are proud to offer this resource to advance your organization's health reform and population health strategies. Introduction to Population Health Years of rising costs have created the need for change in health care finance and delivery. The actors that bear those costs, from federal and state governments to employers and individuals, have reached the point where annual increases are financially unsustainable. Historically, the delivery system has been a fee-for-service model, where the more services provided to patients, such as visits, tests, procedures, hospital admissions, and prescriptions, the more physicians and hospitals get paid. However, reforms have moved us toward a system where providers are rewarded for improving health while maintaining access to sick care within a fixed per capita budget. Such a population-based payment system is commonly called population health or payment for value. A successful population health system accomplishes three objectives. The population's medical outcomes improve when they are sick, the population's per capita costs decline, and the health of the population overall improves. Many organizations have entered into Accountable Care Organizations, or ACOs, or have created patient-centered medical homes as a first step toward population health. These are important steps, but a successful strategy for health systems requires a more comprehensive approach. To transition from payment for volume to payment for value, health systems need to cross a shaky bridge. It shakes because of the uncertainty created for providers as the payment system changes. Doing what is right for population health has negative financial consequences when a majority of payment remains tied to volume. Successful strategies for providers crossing the shaky bridge need to coincide with changes in the payment model, creating a true population health system that brings the delivery and payment systems into alignment. Delivery system transformation focuses on quality and efficiency, alignment between hospitals and primary care providers, and rationalization of the service network. Payment system transformation requires providers to begin by managing care with their own self-funded health plans, contracting with payers that provide incentives for improving quality and lowering costs, then progressing to shared savings programs and ultimately full-risk payment arrangements. Throughout the process, rural health systems need to develop and invest in new capabilities like data analytics, care management, payer network contracting, value-based credentialing, and plan design that are critical to improving outcomes and lowering costs and are the foundation of a mature population health system. The videos in this series summarize the strategies for successfully moving across the shaky bridge by creating a true population health system. The videos in this series are based on the Population Health Transition Framework, developed by Stroudwater Associates. This video has been brought to you by the Tennessee Hospital Association and Tennessee Office of Rural Health. For more information, visit our website at www.tha.com.